Welcome back. Today I am starting a new series here on my YouTube channel and it is all on creating mock-ups. So the first couple weeks we are going to primarily work in Affinity Designer and then start creating mock-ups in Affinity Photo. So it'll be the first time we're working with Affinity Photo here on this channel. Affinity Designer, if you're already working in it and you only have this program, I'll show you some basic ways to do some mock-ups. If you have Affinity Photo, which is gonna be really great because you can do a little more with your mock-ups. To get started, this week we're just using a simple graphic that has a transparent background. So one like this that we created last week see that it's only the cactus with the pot. Graphics like this are definitely the easiest to do mock-ups in, especially if you're starting out. So I recommend just taking something you have designed without a background to start with your mock-ups. Another thing you will need to get started with your mock-ups are images that you can put your designs into. Two of my favorite sites, I use Unsplash all the time and you may have already seen it in some videos on the channel. All you have to do, like I have already typed in a t-shirt. When you're working in Affinity Designer, you don't have the same ability that you will in Affinity Photo. So the best photos are something that's like forward facing or flat. So this shirt would be really, really good. This shirt would be really good. This shirt. You could even use this one. So you can look for different colors. They have a lot that are front facing, so that's really great. I had already clicked on some of these, so I'm just gonna X these out. I have already saved them. And the second site is Pexels. This one pulls in photos from a few different sites. So just take a look for things like boards or frames. You can type in just white. White tends to be the easiest to do mock-ups on because they show the shadows a little bit better. Um, you could even do like computers or phones. Once again, since you are working in Affinity Designer, it's best to look for something that's flat or forward facing. I've already pulled up a couple that I really like. And this one would be great if you watch the video on doing wallpapers. And this is just a great one for doing any of your artwork or design on. So once you have found the images you would like, go ahead and open Affinity Designer and open the design that you would like to use. So with it selected, just hit Command C to copy or edit and copy. Hit Command V to paste or edit and paste. So move your design into the place that you would like. And then over on your right, you will see your design, the image right above it. It'll say pass through, change that to multiply. What that will do is it allows the shadows to show underneath. So if I move it, I'm going to actually turn this slightly on an angle to fit kind of the shirt a little bit better. But if I move it up here, I'm going to zoom in. You can see how it's showing the shadows on the shirt. So it makes it look a little bit more realistic. And this is showing a little bit darker on the shirt than I would like. If you have that issue at all, you can lower the opacity. So like that. And as you can see, it looks realistic. It looks like a shirt that you have had made. All you have to do to save this is go to File, Export. And I find that JPEG works best, but you could also do PNG and then Export. For now, I'm just gonna cancel. Once again, paste your image. And I think the scale of this is fine. 
So once again, multiply, zooming in using command and the plus sign. You can see how it's showing the shadows from the planter underneath. And I'm just going to lower that opacity again. Don't want to do it too much because I don't want to take too much of the saturation away. Zoom out using command and the minus sign. And I'm just going to take this exact same graphic. I'm just going to put them on these other two planters. So you can do it one of two ways. Grab your design in your layers panel, hold, pull down, and you'll see what looks like a piece of paper. You'll see that plus sign appear, and then you can let go. And then just move over, hold shift so that it stays in place. That way they are on the same exact level. The other way you could do it, have your graphic selected, hit Alt or Option, and then drag over, holding Shift as well, once again, so it stays on the same level with the other designs. And now you have a mock-up of your designs on a planter. You could always go in and kind of have one with your graphic and then put in some colors on these other ones With the last one, this, the easiest, because there really are no shadows unless you get really close to the edge. You don't even have to change to multiply. Just scale it to the size that you would like. And once again, if you would like the color changed, lightened or whatever, just go in, change the opacity. And you could even go in and add some kind of text if you would like something. I know the stickers that I've designed similar to this I have looking sharp. So it's just a nice little kind of punny design. So this is the intro to creating mockups in Affinity. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.